Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Today I'm bringing you kind of a dual update. I showed you this really versatile indoor grow light back in November of 2024. I've been using it all winter and I wanted to give you an update on some of the plants that it's been used on. On top of that, I have some flower stalk propagations for Venus flytraps that I started eight months ago. It'll give you a decent idea of what you can expect with Venus flytraps growth in the first year. The Sansi lights have been pretty incredible. This particular light consists of four different 10 watt bulbs all on their own bendable arm. It's super easy to move the arms around to position the lights where you really need them. This light has a clip, so you can clip it on a desk, making this a great option if you're trying to grow Venus flytraps on a table or desk. Sensi also makes this same light with one, two, and three light bulbs. You can get it without a timer, but I prefer to have the attached timer. It makes it so you don't have to worry about turning the lights on and off. It has four hours, eight hours, and 12 hour options for the timer. You can also turn each bulb on and off individually, which is a nice option. If you're interested in this light, there's a link in the description so you can buy it directly from Sansi. I've been buying lights from Sansi for a long time and they've never disappointed me. They're by far my favorite grow light company. There are other great companies that you can get grow lights from, but Sansi is definitely my favorite. And if you use my code BUGEATER25, that's B-U-G-E-A-T-E-R-2-5, at checkout, you can get 25% off your next grow light purchase. The link is in the description and the pinned comment. Now that you've kind of seen the light a little bit, let's go ahead and take a look at some of its results. This Venus flytrap was just a big box store flytrap that I bought a couple of years ago. I decided to just leave this one inside. I got super lazy and I haven't even repotted it. It's actually really due for that. But this one has been growing inside for about two years now and I haven't put it through any kind of dormancy. This is just a typical Venus flytrap, but you can see how the Sansi light has really darkened the red on the traps. They're just beautiful. You can see it has one new trap coming up right now. It's more of a yellowish green than a red. Soon this one will also turn red like the rest with the Sansi light. This one also has a big flower stalk growing out of it and another small one popping up. I probably should have cut them, but I've been mostly setting these and forgetting these plants to see how the Sansi light does with them. So far, you can see it's done really well. I'm going to keep this one inside and see how long it grows without a dormancy period. It's kind of an experimental plant. I'll keep everyone updated on it. I do have a couple more fly traps that I want to share with you, but before we do that, I wanted to take a moment and shamelessly promote my small business. I'm currently stocking up on my premium pre-rinsed carnivorous plant substrate, which is great for Venus fly traps, Saracenia, sundews, and many other carnivorous plants. I've been mixing, rinsing, and drying like crazy to stock up. I'm having a hard time keeping a supply of substrate available, so make sure and grab some while my supply is up. My best seller is a kit where you get a high quality planter with a bag of substrate. The bag of substrate is the perfect amount to fit the planter. This kit is great for upgrading your plant from that tiny store-bought planter into a nice tall planter that can be your plant's home for the next several years. You can get the substrate and planters by themselves as well. I also still have some pings available and some pinguicula substrate. So head on over to my website, carnivorousplantshub.com to see what I have available. Also, California Carnivores has a great stock of different carnivorous plants, including Venus flytraps right now. Make sure to head on over there to see their selection and pick yourself out a new carnivorous plant. If you use my code BUGEATER, that's B-U-G-E-A-T-E-R, you can get 10% off your order at checkout. You know you deserve it. Okay, thanks for listening to that. Let's go ahead and get back to these plants. Here's my peach pit that sprouted from a flower stalk that I propagated about eight months ago. You can see the growth is doing really well and is colored up really nicely under the Sansi light. It's still small, but this is normal for Venus flytraps under a year old. You can see the flower stalk still standing there that this plant sprouted from. Here's a look at an adult peach pit that has been under lots of direct sun toward the end of the growing season. It has pretty nice color, but nothing like the one that's been under this Sansi grow light. The next Venus flytrap that I have to show you here is the Equibia. These were also propagated about eight months ago. This cultivar tends to be pretty small, but grows really vigorously. You can see that every flower stalk that I planted struck, and we have four new baby plants growing. You can even see most of the flower stalks still sticking around. My adult plants stay pretty dark greenish yellow, like these babies, but the difference is that these actually have more color than even the adult plants did at the end of last growing season. Here's a good look at the adult plants at the end of the last growing season. They have a little color, but not nearly as much as these babies that have been basking under the Sansi Grow light. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to pour some water on the like button and subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Here's a good look at my King Henry. This cultivar is actually a lot of fun. 
It's considered one of the more common cultivars, but the growing on them are always fast and vigorous. They get to be pretty good size too. They're not the biggest cultivar, but they can put out some really nice sized traps. You can see these babies have been turning a really dark shade of red under the Sansi grow lights. These were also propagated from flower stalks about eight months ago. You can see the flower stalks still sticking up there. Some of these traps have turned entirely red and aren't even showing any green anymore. You can see the new growth coming up has even turned a really nice dark shade of red. If you're a beginner, I recommend a King Henry. They're really fun for cultivar to grow. The last one here is a low green. This is a green cultivar that does not really color up. They stay mostly green. They're a fun cultivar to have in your collection as they have a really vibrant green color. Most cultivars will turn red under bright lights, but this one likes to stay bright green. It's not doing the best. I'm actually a little worried about it with a lot of the growth turning black. I think I'm going to repot it soon and see if that helps it snap out of it a bit. I noticed a couple of gnats and I wonder if they're doing some damage underneath that moss. I just wanted to take a real quick moment and also show you this sundew that's been living off the Sansy light. It's a little harder to tell with these as they don't turn as much color as the Venus flytraps, but you can see it's a pretty happy plant with lots of dew. There's also a few other plants too that I didn't bring up that the Sansy clip-on light has been giving light to. There's actually about 10 plants total. This light has really done a wonderful job. Again, if you're interested in an indoor setup and need a good light, this one is a great place to start. I recommend using two bulbs for every one plant. If you have just one plant that needs a light, I suggest getting the the two bulbs and not just the one. That will give your plant 20 watts of total light and should be enough. I think if the plants are close enough, two bulbs could be enough for two or maybe even three plants as long as the light is only about six to eight inches away. There's a link in the description if you're interested. If you want to learn more about this light, check out the video that's popping up on the screen right now. I do an unboxing and an in-depth review of the light and different setups that you can try. It's definitely worth your time if you're considering this light or even just searching for a good indoor grow light for your carnivorous plants. Thank you so much for stopping by today and I really hope to catch you in my next video. Bye!